Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to video six in my Race Day Quads Bardwell F7 quadcopter build. Yes, we are in video six. We've covered a lot of ground so far. I'm gonna go ahead and put the playlist up on the screens so that we can quickly and efficiently show you uh, some of the topics that we've covered so far uh, in the event that this is the first video that you found in the series and you need to go back. Uh, links to all of these videos can be found in the playlist link in the description below. So what is left? What do we still need to do? Um, I'm going to go ahead and guess that probably at the very minimum, 50% of our motors aren't spinning the correct way. It's a crapshoot when you do the wiring. So uh, we're going to go into a uh, piece of software called BL Heli, and we're going to get our motors turning the right way. And the other thing that BL Heli will do for us is it will allow us to update the firmware for our ESCs. And it makes it very, very, very easy, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Beyond that, we still haven't added our switches for our flight mode, our buzzer, and our arm switch. Um, don't know whether we'll get to that in this video or the next. Uh, and then we've got our pre-flight checklist, and then we get to fly. So we're real, real close, probably 75% of the way through. So without further ado, let's get rolling. All right, so I've got beta flight up on the screen here, and I've got, uh, I'm getting footage of the quad as well. I'm going to go ahead and plug the quad in. But there it is. All right, so the quad's plugged in, and I'm going to go to a tab that we kind of skipped over in the last video, which is motors. And uh, take a look at my quad, please. Props are off, off, no props. Anytime I do anything on the bench with my quad, I do not have props on. Never, ever have props on the quad on the bench because there is a phenomenon called uncommanded motor start. And where uncommanded motor start ends up is in the emergency room. So take it from me, learn from my mistakes. All right, so for this portion of the video, I'm going to need to grab a battery and I'm going to go ahead and plug the quad in. We now have battery, we have battery, we now have power to the quad. And what I'm going to do is uh, notice here, it says, I understand the risks, the propellers are removed, blah, 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 blah. Make sure that that's the deal. And only then should you click here to enable the ability for the motors to come on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then here's the master switch and go like that. And as you can see, all four motors are spinning. And I'm going to go ahead and bet that uh, generally 50% or more of the motors are spinning the wrong way. But instead of doing the master, the one thing, first thing I want to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do motor one and make sure that it's this motor right here. And that one is spinning in the correct direction. Motor two. Wow, okay, correct direction. Motor three. Motor three is going in the wrong direction. All right, and motor four. Wow, wow, okay, interesting. Um, that might be a first for me. I got three out of four of them correct. And that's just really a matter of luck from when I was soldering up my motors to the 4 and one ESC. Uh, and then we just have to remember that motor three is spinning the wrong way. So let's go ahead and fix that. We can fix that one of two ways. Method one is we can re-solder any two of these wires down here. You can see them right between my fingers right there. We can desolder and re-solder those. Um, and that's the way we used to do it back in the olden times. But now there is a much, much easier way. There's a utility called BL Heli. And uh, that's what we're going to do for this one. So let's turn our attention to the computer screen. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and close out of Betaflight and unplug my quad. And what I wanna do is I wanna determine what the heck kind of ESCs do I have anyway? So what I did was I went back to the website from which I purchased the stuff, which I bought the stuff at Race Day Quads. And here is my 4-in-1 ESC, and it appears to be a 32-bit 4-in-1 uh, ESC. If I take it one step further and I go to the ESC itself, I can get some more information here. And there's features and specs. It says right here to use BL Heli 32 firmware. And I actually just learned one more thing. I could run DSHOT 1200 on this, so I'm gonna make that change in Betaflight as well. And I guess this is a good time to mention that uh, 
for those of you who are saying, duh, no kidding, um, I'm still pretty new at this. Uh, this is only my second F7 build ever. I am not purporting to be an expert here. Uh, my philosophy in my videos has always been that uh, it takes a heck of a lot of research from many, many, many different sources generally to be able to do one of these builds. And my whole goal is to compile all of that information into one place so that uh, hopefully I can make it easier for those who come after me. But if I do perhaps get a fact incorrect, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Generally, I will not post a video until I see it through completion so that I know that the information that I'm putting in the video is as accurate as possible. But like I said, my philosophy is, is that I'm still pretty new at this, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, so I did a Google search for blheli underscore 32 download, and I'm going to go straight to the GitHub and grab the first one. And let's see what we got. blheli32 info page. You can get the suite here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it looks like we've been directed to a Google Drive with some various options for us, depending on what OS we're using. The relevant ones for me, which uh, I'm Windows, so my mine would be the first one and the last one. This one clearly says BL Heli Suite 32. Um, I'm pretty certain that this is the 32-bit version, and this is the non-32-bit version. So um, it's important to know what kind of ESCs you have so that you make sure that you get the right version. For me, I'm going with 32, and what I'm going to do is if I right-click, I have the opportunity to download. And I'm going to go ahead and save file. And I'm going to open up my folder where my files end up. And that's right here. So here I'm going to right click, extract all, and say extract. And now I have my new folder with my BL Heli Suite 32. Now I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. And mine opened up right away. Uh, I just want to show you something real quick. Here's select the interface. If you do that, if you click on that, um, you can see where it's actually using Betaflight. Um, they used to call it a pass through. So if you double click on the icon and it doesn't immediately open up, try this. Open up Betaflight. First of all, connect your quad. This is the way you used to have to do it. I don't know whether this is still relevant or not, but if you try to open up BL Heli and it didn't open for whatever reason, this is the way you used to have to do it. You used to have to open up Betaflight to get that calm, I guess, connection open. Then you'd disconnect Betaflight, but you'd leave it open on your screen. Then you'd go over to BL Heli Suite and you'd double click on this and it opens. So where I'm at right now is I'm plugged in, but my battery's not plugged in. So if I hit read setup, it's not going to be able to do anything. So let me go like that. I am going to go ahead and plug my battery in. And now if I go and I do read setup, look at that, it recognizes the four ESCs. So there's information about each of the ESCs here. And if you remember, our goal here is twofold. Number one is to flash our ESCs, and number two is to take that number three motor and uh, reverse its direction. So if you recall from earlier, motor number three was spinning the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and deselect all of the motors except for three. And you can see that the motor direction here is normal. I'm going to switch that to reversed. And then I'm going to say right setup. And it says ESC right OK. Then I'm going to go OK. Now, just like in Betaflight, uh, we have a motors tab here too. We can click, we can click on motors. I don't think this is going to work because, yeah, I've got to go ahead and disconnect Betaflight. And now with Betaflight disconnected, we can click here. And now if I go like this. All right, so what do we got? That's uh, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, and clockwise. So now all four of our motors are spinning the correct way. I'll go ahead and pull those that and go ahead and go like that. All right, so I'm going to go back to I'm going to go back to the main page here and say read setup. 
And I've got my setup, and if we look at ESC3, you can see that the motor direction is reversed. So we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Now, so now let's talk about flashing the ESCs. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to Flash BL Heli and click on it. Now it has read the ESC, and it's looking at the current. It says the current is iFlight BL32 Multi Rev 32.7. And it says that the latest and greatest firmware is 32.7. So we are actually up to date. We're good to go. We don't have anything to worry about. In the event that you weren't, you would just select this right here. And you'd say, OK. Then you would select Yes to Flash, like so. And you would end up doing this for all four ESCs. You do them individually. So it says we're good. And I'm going to say OK. And now it's actually already moved me to ESC2. I are, Obviously, I already have 32.7 on here, so I don't need to do all four ESCs. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel. And then it's going to give me a summary. I've got 32.7, 32.7, so I'm still good. Now, as a reminder, in the event that you didn't have the latest and greatest uh, firmware, uh, then you would just go through the process for each and every single one of the ESCs until you saw a screen that looks similar to this. Now, this 32.7 is as of December 2020. Um, at the time that you review this video, this may be a later rev. But there it is. That is the tip of the iceberg about BL Heli. Now, all the rest of this stuff uh, are things that I've never messed with before. Um, I, I definitely could use a crash course in BL Heli, uh, but as far as the very, very basics, which is firmware update and getting the motors to spin in the correct direction, we have done what we need to do. And we can go to ESC overview and it will show us. Uh, it's Notice this is bold and highlighted. Uh, it's basically showing us what we changed. And that is all we changed. All right, so that is pretty much it for BL Heli. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Hopefully this end up being a relatively short video. So this is very, very exciting. We are one step closer to flying. In the next video, we're going to add three switches, one for arm, one for flight mode, and one to make the ESCs beep in the event that we lose our quad and tall brush. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up for this video. My name is Steve. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And do me a favor, please do subscribe because I have ideas for 1,168 more videos um, that I'm going to be releasing here in the next year. So um, I hope to see you there. I'm Steve, checking out. See you in the next video.